Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Say hi, Jay. Hi. Jamie and I are in New York City. Uh, we're here for Jamie's birthday. By the way, I think we're doing a little official business, too, so we have a food event to go to. Uh, so we're down in the city for two days. This is our hotel room. Really awesome little cute hotel room near Times Square. So I got, I got a question for you guys. I got a question. So I'm a race director for Ellenville Run Like the Wind Race. It's a 5K, 10K race. It happens May 17th in Ellenville, New York, which is 90 miles north of New York City. It's been happening since 1983, one of the oldest races out there uh, in the Hudson Valley. I am the new race director. I've come in. I think I've kicked butt. A lot of other race directors are like, wow, Marcus, you're doing a great job. I've got tons and tons of sponsors. I've got uh, more donations than they've ever gotten in the past, uh, monetary sponsorships. I've gotten tons of products, gift certificates, a lot of things, vendors coming. And so I invited Kind Bar and I invited Cliff Bar. I invited both. I also have seven, seven breweries. Seven breweries are coming. And more breweries would come. I don't know if I have room for more breweries because we're just short on room. So I invited Kind Bar and Cliff Bar to be a sponsor. Cliff Bar immediately said yes. They sent me a box of 500 units. Uh, to give away uh, bars, and right away they said, yes, no problems. I invited Kind Bar. I got an email back from them like a week later saying, we'd love to come set up a booth, give away Kind Bars, and really make it a great day, and they said the wrong date in the email. So I'm like, oh my gosh, they think it's the wrong date. They're doing saying May 16th. I don't know where they got the date from, so I tried calling the contacts. I never got a phone call back. I tried emailing. I never got emails back. And one day I got a hold of her, like three, four, five weeks later, she goes, oh, it's so-and-so, so-and-so is going to take care of this, it's her department. And I never heard, she goes, she's going to, I'm going into a meeting with her now, she's going to call you back right after our meeting in an hour. Well, three weeks gone by, I hadn't heard anything, so I'm emailing, calling, nothing, and finally, they called me back and said, yes, um, we can send you product, we can't be there, like they originally said, set a booth, and I figured they couldn't, I, I figured they maybe didn't know how far we were, or what exactly, and so they sent me a, a, a form letter to fill out, and the first question was, are there any other granola bar type uh, at the event? And of course, the website has Cliff Bar. Cliff Bar is a sponsor. You know, whether Cliff Bar sends me gels or sent me gels or bars, Cliff Bar is a major sponsor. They came in big time. So, of course, I said, yes, you know, I have Cliff, Cliff Bar as a sponsor. They're, they're sending. Does it make a difference if they send gels or bars, you know, or, and, uh, they immediately emailed me back and said, sorry, we can't help you. So here's my question. Is, is, should, is Kind Bar right for doing something like that? Is, is Kind Bar, do they have a right to say, well, we want exclusive sponsorship for something like that? I mean, when you go to a beer festival, how would you feel if you went to a beer festival with only one brewery because a brewery wanted exclusive sponsorship, right? And I know this isn't a, I know this isn't a, 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 a bar festival, right? It's a running it's a running event that's going to have four or 500 people that's going to have a lot of food, a lot of different types of food. I'm doing food this year, lots of fruit, lot, lots of different foods. So it would be nice to have Cliff Bar and Kind Bar present. It would be nice to have both of them giving, have, having product to give away from both. So is Kind Bar right? You know, I feel that, hey, let's all play fair in the sandbox, right? I'm in a small town. There's four other restaurants. When I opened, there were no other restaurants. But I can't say, well, I want to be the only restaurant to do this, the only restaurant to do that. Because it, the, the, the success is in synergy. The success is when you're, when you're all in a cohesive unit and the energy is there. Synergy. Imagine going, to, imagine going to a baseball game and you want exclusive viewing rights and you're going to be the only one in the stands and somebody gets up and hits a home run, right? You're the only one, you're the only one cheering, right, for your team. There's no synergy. Nothing else is going on. So the more you have, I believe, the more synergy, the more, the more success, the more people are going to say, wow, this is a great event. I can guarantee you out of the three, 400, 500 people that I'm coming that many of them never had a kind bar. I can guarantee that. Cliff Bar has been around much longer. I would say the chances of people having a Cliff Bar is much, much higher, okay, just from general perspective, Cliff Bar has been around a lot longer. And if they haven't been, that's just my impression. So I would think a company like Kind would say, hey, yeah, Put us up against our competition. Let's play friendly. Let's play friendly in the same sandbox. Let's make your race a success. Let's, let's maybe lure some of those Cliff Bar, Cliff Bar people over to us. 
It's just it's it's all getting product placement. It's all it's all getting out there. And of course, it's a donation for Cliff Bar. And, and every company, big company like that, has a line item for donations. I have a line item for donations in my restaurant. We give away, but I wouldn't say, oh, you know, I give away gift certificates all the time to silent auctions. And I wouldn't. I, I've never never once said oh, I want to be the only restaurant. No, you can't say that because you want the event to be successful. You want people to you. The more, the more products, the more in a silent auction, the more things you have to do a silent auction, the more people are going to look at the table, the more people are going to attend the event, the more eyes are going to be on my gift certificate as well as other, other people's, but the more eyes are going to be there to look at everything. So because all that synergy is going to bring more people. So I personally think Kind Bar made a wrong move here, but maybe, maybe I'm not off base. What is your opinion? What is your opinion on Kind Bar versus Cliff Bar? Thanks for watching this. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, and uh, leave your comments below, please.